I got my Aerial Rider Kepler bike with me today, and I got this uh, dirt bike uh, bike rack. Um, I got this, got almost a year ago. Well, uh, the Aerial Rider Kepler I've had for about almost a year. Haven't been riding it much lately, not much at all for 2023. Uh, this bike rack is the first time I've used it. And uh, I think this is called the Eco Trike motocross bike rack. And um, God, I seen today because I knew I was going to use this today for the first time, but I went on Amazon. I bought this off of Amazon. This is going for $115 now. That's an unbelievable price. And if you look at it, it, were, it fits perfect for this Aerial Rider Kepler. Um, I got three straps holding it down, and then I got a couple of bungee cords just to keep it steady. The bungee cords really ain't doing anything. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I did buy last year the Harbor Freight motorbike bike rack and that would not work for this bike so don't do that uh, don't go to Harbor Freight and buy their motocross dirt bike uh, rack it, it did not work for this uh, aerial rider Kepler electric bike but uh, as you can see it it works perfect this is uh, again uh, I'm repeat myself but this is the first time I've used it the only thing is the ramp uh, that goes down here was bent in one corner when I received it and uh, but for the first time using it again I'm uh, I'm impressed and that I seen it today for $115 that is just unbelievable I do uh, need to tighten down this bolt and this bolt but it's not coming off. Um, what do I got going on with the Area Rider Kepler? Uh, I replaced this seat. You know, you can see I have. You can see I have the uh, steel box, and then I got this uh, scooter box. I, I I found this on Amazon, and this is working out pretty good. I need to get some rubber washers though, because it bounces around on uh, hitting that there. Uh, these are just reflectors. There's no lights on them. But uh, again, I got this off of Amazon, and it works great. Uh, it rubs against this cage, so I don't know if I'll get rid of this, and not get rid of it, just take this off and just use this. If, between the two, I would rather have this, uh, because it's an enclosed, I can put camera equipment in there, uh, you know, won't have to worry about it getting wet. And, uh, but here we go. I thought I'd show you this ramp. There's nothing special about it, but you can see here where this got bent during shipping. I mean, I can, I can bend it out. I ha just haven't. Again, you know, I'm repeat myself, but this is the first time using it. So I have all the straps taken off of it. And what's nice is I can lean it like that on the truck now and I don't have to worry about it falling off. And I'll go ahead and uh, take that off the truck. Well, that was really easy. I am impressed with this thing. I think when I bought it, I paid more for it than what I seen it today, you know, $115. Got at those bike shops, I went to a few bike shops, they were wanting six, $800 for 
a bike rack and god this works perfect for the aerial rider kepler It's real nice just to be able to lean the bike against the truck. Well, that's it. The bike's strapped down again. Let's see. Oh, I gotta turn these lights off. That's hard to tell when they're on during the daylight. Yeah, I don't think that's not going nowhere. I need to get one more bungee cord instead of, not, uh, not a bungee cord. I need to get one more tie down strap to go from there over here and then on the other side. And then I'd be good. I think I have more straps, but I, I couldn't find them right now. Oh, I put this lock on too. This is just a little lock. Again, I never leave this unattended. So this bike, I never leave it unattended. So I don't plan locking it up. And, I, and again, I, I don't need that alarm really. But that was a fun trip today.